Many people praise Glock for having such a low bore axis, uh, and that's one of the reasons a lot of people buy Glock. Um, you can see the bore axis. The slide sits really far down on my hand, and a lot of people complain that it, it actually bites their hands if they, they try to get too high of a grip. It doesn't do that with me. This is the Glock 32. Again, uh, same exact outer dimensions as the Glock 19. So from the slide to where you grip the gun and the, the bottom, or sorry, the back of the gun, is 0.325. And then from that edge of the slide to the bottom of the bore is about 0.325. Uh, 0.3 to nine. So yeah, pretty low. This is the guy that started this whole thing. This is the Walther P99. It's a grip. I'm going to go, there's a kind of a flat spot in the back here and that's pretty much where the uh, my hand sits. So I'm going to go from there to the slide. And that's about 0.438. And then from the slide to the bottom of the bore, estimating. Again, I'm just lining up the points. I'm not getting the edges perfect. So that's about 0 0.40. This is the CZ75P01. This one's a little tricky because the frame rides inside the slide, you can see right here, or rather the slide rides inside the frame. And when we measure to the bottom of the slide, we're gonna go from this beaver tail to this edge of the slide, and then that's gonna be our bottom of the slide measurement before we go up to the, uh, the bore. So I'm gonna to have to eyeball this a little more than the others, and that's 0 0.730 to the center line of the bore. This has a stainless steel guide rod in it. Um, I'll be changing that to the polymer one just so as it doesn't affect the weight or anything um, in the front of the gun. There are a couple other changes. I have some grips on here and a different trigger and some different sights, but that won't matter. So from here to the bottom of the bore, best guess is actually that's about it 0.143 thereabouts okay there we go CZ 75 P01 is the H&K USP compact 9mm uh, this one this one does sit up higher than many, um, and it's one of those that's criticized for having a very high bore axis. Again, my best estimate, it's about here on the back of the frame. So from about there to the slide is, we'll say 0.7, And then from the slide to the bore, much more than the CZ. And again, this is going to be an estimate. 0 0.530, 0 0.529. So as you can see, compared to the CZ, if I put the frame at the same spot, sorry for it, for the blurriness, the camera went out of focus. The H and K is quite a bit higher than the CZ. If you hold it in the same spot, you can see how much higher the H and K is than the CZ. This is the H and K P two thousand SK. This is a much smaller pistol. Um, it's one of the smallest pistols I own. It's a subcompact size, and uh, it does have a slightly newer generation of uh, model, I guess. 
than this guy, the USB compact. So we'll see if H and K made the bore any lower. It's about 0.583 up to the slide, and then from the slide to the bottom of the bore is 0.566. Again, lining up and trying to trying to eyeball it as best as possible.